Motivation is not real. Discipline is real. I don't feel like training, but I still do it because I'm a disciplined individual. You don't get to go through life only doing the things you feel like doing. Listen, you may feel fired up for 10 minutes after this little talk, but you're not going to feel fired up forever. You need to put systems in place, get disciplined, and get an atmosphere of people around you who will keep you accountable. If you're tired, you don't want to work, you want to go to sleep or just relax, you do it anyway. That is the most basic imperative of the masculine frame. They are trying to convince you that you should act how you feel. If you feel this way, you should show it. If you want to cry, cry. But the reason they're trying to bring out emotionality in you is because most of the time, you don't feel like doing the things you're supposed to do. But the true masculine frame throughout history was doing the things they didn't want to do, but they knew they had to do because they had honor and duty. A good man controls himself. I have absolute self-control and emotional control. I'm saying that you need to understand as a man, there are certain principles under which you act regardless of how you feel. I can wake up in a terrible mood. I can wake up sad. I can ache. I can have a busy day, stressed, etc. I will complete the same tasks as if I woke up in a fantastic mood. How I feel has no bearing on the things I'm going to do with my day because I have duty to myself and to my bloodline. Being a man isn't about not feeling things. It's about acting the way you're supposed to act regardless of how you feel. We're men of action. We get things done. The world got built by men who felt scared, but they did it anyway. You need to become a man of action. Stop worrying about how you feel and start worrying about what you're supposed to be doing. And that, my friends, is the secret to unlocking your true potential and achieving greatness in life. It all boils down to embracing discipline over motivation. You see, motivation is fleeting. It comes and goes like waves, leaving us feeling energized one moment and completely deflated the next. Relying solely on motivation to drive our actions is a recipe for inconsistency and mediocrity. Discipline, on the other hand, is unwavering. It is the unwavering commitment to doing what needs to be done regardless of how we feel in the moment. It is the cornerstone of success and personal growth. When we adopt a disciplined mindset, we become masters of our own destiny. We understand that our actions are not dictated by fleeting emotions but guided by a deep sense of purpose and commitment. No matter how tired we are, no matter how strong the resistance, we push through and take action. We understand that our goals and dreams are worth the effort and sacrifice. Discipline becomes our guiding principle in all aspects of life. We prioritize our health and fitness, even when we don't feel like going to the gym. We tackle our work with diligence and focus, even when our energy is low. We show up for our loved ones and fulfill our responsibilities, even when we'd rather stay in our comfort zones. By practicing discipline consistently, we build mental resilience and develop a strong character. We become the kind of individuals who can withstand any challenge and persevere in the face of adversity. But discipline doesn't mean denying our emotions or suppressing our feelings. It means acknowledging our emotions and choosing to act in alignment with our values and goals, despite them. It means understanding that our feelings do not define us or dictate our actions. We have the power to rise above our emotions and take charge of our lives. So, my friends, I encourage you to let go of the illusion of motivation and embrace the power of discipline. Cultivate a mindset of unwavering commitment to your goals and dreams. Embrace the discomfort and challenges that come your way knowing that they are stepping stones to your personal growth and success. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who share your dedication to discipline and hold each other accountable. Build a support system that will challenge and inspire you to become the best version of yourself. 
Let's go over the main points again. If you want to achieve your goals, you need to develop discipline. You need to be able to do things even when you don't feel like it. How to develop discipline So, how do you develop discipline? Here are a few tips. Start small. Don't try to do too much at once. Start with small goals that you know you can achieve. Break down large goals into smaller, more manageable tasks. This will make them seem less daunting and more achievable. Reward yourself for your progress. This will help you stay motivated and on track. Find a mentor or coach who can help you stay accountable. Having someone to support you and encourage you can make a big difference. Discipline is not easy. Discipline is not easy. It takes time, effort, and consistency. But it is worth it. When you have discipline, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. The benefits of discipline. There are many benefits to having discipline. Here are a few. You can achieve your goals. When you have discipline, you can stay focused on your goals and take the necessary steps to achieve them. You become more self-controlled. Discipline helps you to control your impulses and emotions. This can lead to a more peaceful and productive life. You become more confident. When you know that you can do what you set your mind to, you become more confident in your abilities. You become more successful. Discipline is a key ingredient to success in any area of life. Conclusion Motivation is a fickle thing. It comes and goes, and it's often based on our emotions. But discipline is real. It's the ability to do things even when we don't feel like it. If you want to achieve your goals, you need to develop discipline. It's not easy, but it is worth it. In addition to the tips above, here are a few more things you can do to develop discipline. Set clear goals and expectations. What do you want to achieve? What are the steps you need to take to get there? Create a plan and stick to it. Having a plan will help you stay on track and avoid distractions. Track your progress. This will help you see how far you've come and stay motivated. Celebrate your successes. When you achieve a goal, take some time to celebrate your success. This will help you stay motivated and on track. Developing discipline takes time and effort, but it is worth it. When you have discipline, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Remember, motivation may come and go, but discipline is the steady flame that will light your path to greatness. So, step up, take action, and become the disciplined individual who conquers life's challenges and achieves extraordinary results. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey of personal development. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Zebrainspire for more empowering content that will inspire you to unleash your full potential.